Hi guys, welcome to Treats Online. Today I'm going to take you through the palatine bone. This is a paired bone. It articulates with the voma, the inferior nasal concha, the ethmoid bone, and the other palatine bone. It can be confused with the sphenoid bone, and the maxilla. Here we are looking at the nasal aspect. And first we need to orientate ourselves. And the way we do that is we look for some certain features of the bone. Here we can see that there's both a vertical part to the bone and a horizontal part to the bone. So we call this part the vertical part. And this part here, the horizontal part. So now that we know the vertical part and the horizontal part, we can look at some other features. Here we have the orbital process. In the front here we have the maxillary process. And behind here we have the sphenoidal process. And these can help us orientate the bone so we know which way is superior and which way is inferior, which way is medial and which way is lateral. At this border here, this is where the maxilla articulates with the palatine bone. And this posterior border here, this is where the sphenoid articulates with the palatine bone. Here is where the middle meatus is located. And here is where the inferior meatus is located. So here we're looking at the posterior aspect now. Here's our vertical part and here's our horizontal part. Here's our orbital process up here. So this is superior. We can see that the horizontal part is extending medially. So we know that this side is medial and this side is lateral. Okay, now we'll move on to another aspect. This is the inferior aspect of the palatine bone. We're looking at the horizontal part. The way to tell which is posterior, which is anterior, is via this process at the back here. This is called the hamulus. Here we have the coana, or coanae, or plural. It's also referred to as the posterior nasal aperture. We have 
a set of foramen. We have the greater palatine foramen. And the lesser palatine foramen. And these are for the greater and lesser palatine nerves as well as their vessels. Here we have the interpalatine suture. So we know that this is medial and this is lateral. And we have the transverse suture, which separates the maxillary bones from the palatine bones. So we know that this is anterior. And that about wraps it up for the palatine bones. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about forensic anatomy. Thanks and I'll see you soon.